Good morning, everybody, online and here. Readiness. The word that I got was readiness and ready. The line of Judah has to come forth. The scripture that God pressed on my heart this morning is preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. You see, the thing about it is, it's Friday night. I was invited to do something with a lot of fellow pastors from Longview. I was just going to show up and listen. But Thomas McDaniel didn't have that kind of mentality. He kept pressing on me, pray over this one. Come and speak. Come and speak. There's an angel that will be assigned to all the pastors that are here. He couldn't have known by any word, means, or function that while I was driving home from work the other day, a feather came across my cab. <laughs> preparing. God was preparing me in that instant. I didn't really want to go to Arkansas, but I had to go up there for two and a half days and, and do a job and separate us from some things that are going on around us. Are you ready? I declare and decree over this a readiness that falls upon you to bring forth the word. You're all ministers. You accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior and act like it. Quit playing. There's too many people out here playing church and not being the church. Woo! That's what he's pressed on me. Quit playing church. Quit playing church. If you're going to be the church, then be who He is. Be who Christ is. Be whom God made you to be so that you can be the change that you wish to see. The first time that I talked to Thomas, I said, he asked me, what's my ministry? And I told him that I was aligned at, at Kingdom Rising. The first words came out of his mouth. I know Craig and Dana. This is not something small. If you think just because we're in a small town, don't believe that it's ever something small. And thank you, Dana. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Nathan, for always being there. Family and home, sometimes for us who have suffered, is not something that's common. But when I came here, God beckoned me home. He said, come home. You need family. You need love. And you need to let me love on you. Don't be so hardcore and so hard-pressed that you can't let our Savior love on you. We can build walls inside of ourselves and just exactly as we build walls that protect ourselves from individuals in this world, we can build walls that will separate us from Christ. Be careful of the walls that you build. Readiness. Be ready in and out of season. Declare that over you. In Jesus' name.